So guys, long at last, after many years of experiencing the same issue, we are finally getting a resolution to the infamous camera warnings that we get when using full self-driving. Tesla has recently outlined their entire roadmap with all the best features coming over the next couple of months, ranging from end-to-end -end highway to park unpark and reverse functions. These updates will not only bring the best features to full self-driving but it will lay the foundations for the V13 series of software as the aim for the production of the fully unsupervised version and the ride hailing network sometime in 2026. Now looking at the extensive list of items that they have posted this will be a major leap in development over the current full self-driving stack and according to Tesla AI after integrating several of these improvements, they are already seeing four times increase in miles per intervention compared to the latest 12.5.4. So while all of this is forward projection roadmaps, they are preparing to ship version 13 to internal customers by later this week with the remaining items added throughout the first and last week of November. As each of these items are independently validated and will continue to be added over the next few weeks, they are targeting a wide release with version 13.3 with most of the above improvements for hardware for vehicles around November 28th in times for Thanksgiving this year. So now all of this sounds really great but one really big important point is the seven cameras on the exterior of the car and its ability to function in all weather conditions. Ever since Tesla had introduced enhanced autopilot and full self-driving to the entire fleet we have all been experiencing this exact same message. This one message here has been debated to the very end and has been going on for countless of years whether the cameras alone are enough for the unsupervised version and the full autonomy of the full self-driving stack. Well, we had some really great news over the past few weeks, really giving us a ton of confidence of what's to come and that all of this is actually going to be possible. Through recent investigations into accidents relating to the full self-driving and the cameras being occluded during unfavorable situations, NHTSA has opened up a probe into finding the limitations and requiring updates from the company. Earlier this year, as the auto wiping function was finally added to the neural net and updated with surround view video, it has received a minor but noticeable improvement over what we had previously had but still struggled in many dark environments where the camera would not detect water. This meant that for the majority of owners, they would have to hope that the wipers activate automatically, otherwise having to go through menus to manually activate it and through dedicated buttons. All of this had brought up enough concerns that Tesla's senior AI engineer went on X to confirm that they are set to roll out a new update to the auto wipers that will greatly improve its overall effectiveness. However, with that being said, this doesn't necessarily relate to the overall functions of all seven cameras surrounding the vehicle as the auto wiper fix can only resolve two of the cameras sitting just behind the front windshield. And unfortunately, these other cameras are the ones most affected by the dark and weather conditions causing them to underperform and throw a message prior to disengagement. This has been an ongoing issue for many years regardless if you have basic autopilot or full self-driving as soon as the cameras are blinded by the sun, partially occluded with rain or driven through a dark road it will hand all controls back to you and soon disengage. We have gone through all the details with auto wiper improvements and everything along the notes of the NHTSA probe. If you want to know all the details, go check out my previous video. I would drop it in the description below and up top there. There is a ton that is going to relate to what's coming up next. Now with that being said, we have some really exciting news as part of the new roadmap for 2025. There is going to be a ton of things happening as Tesla AI has just given us the update and that includes the new camera cleaning function and the camera occlusion algorithm that they are going to be pushing towards newer vehicles. Just earlier this week in a recent post by a user on X that goes by T Woodsy, he shared that he has stopped using full self-driving altogether on a Cybertruck due to the constant chimes and warnings that the system is degraded due to the cameras being blocked or blinded. In a response to this, Tesla's AI later replied that they will be coming out with a fix in the next release in version 12.5.6.2. This has been documented in the official roadmap documenting the exact change 
focusing on key areas being the camera cleaning methods and the cameras being occluded. Now just to reiterate, this is probably one of the most major and the most important update we've had over the past few iterations of software as this could possibly fix all the issues with the cameras we've been experiencing over the past few years but without knowing the exact details and pinpointing exactly how they are going to achieve this, it's really hard to get an idea how this could simply be done through software and not through physical changes. As of right now, we know for a fact that there is no physical hardware or no physical wipers aside from the front. This is going to be quite magical what they are going to do and what they are planning to get it to work even in all these harsh environments. Now, although we don't know all the details of what they could be working on, we do know a few things here and a few things that they could possibly do to get all of this to work. And then we can also speculate a few other things that they may be adding to the next hardware or they could even provide a retrofit for the current cars. As we can first speculate, there will be an improved water sensing algorithm for the front windshield wipers in the following update. And alongside that, they will be spanned across all versions of the software. So not limited to full self-driving, but also basic autopilot and everything in between. This is expected to bring increased accuracy in the sensor fusion to assess when a camera is partially blocked, redirecting focus to unoccluded cameras until it clears up automatically during the drive. In addition to that, all things suggest that there will be improved machine learning and object recognition, refining the algorithm to distinguish between true hazards such as road obstacle versus water droplet or dirt on the lens. Then moving on to the physical requirements, there could potentially be additional hardware built into the current sensors allowing it to remove occlusions without any user intervention. An example of this would be the sensor shift stabilizer where Tesla could potentially automate low frequency vibration to promote water droplets to roll down rather than sticking on the lens cover. Another potential cleaning method coming to this update could include a real-time obstruction detection and cleaning alerts where the prompts will alert drivers when the cameras are obstructed and may need a manual cleaning. These alerts could also notify drivers of persistent or critical occlusion on specific cameras, especially before entering zones that require pure camera-based navigation. So with this update soon to be pushed out, they are planning to remove that full self-driving degraded camera quality message that pops up when the weather is not that favorable. This is going to be taken out completely or maybe less so to be popped up on the screen. But this is going to be the biggest part of it all and playing a factor into that removal is everything we've mentioned previously and how all that's going to be taken into account. But now aside from all the ones that we have just previously mentioned, it is going to be quite magical what they will be able to achieve purely through software updates. All the vibrations and the motor shaking for the water droplets to come down. This is all just me thinking of potentially things that they could do to the current hardware suite without providing a retrofit, but there may be a chance that another type of sensor or another type of hardware is eventually going to be added onto these vehicles to make them work. So just to summarize here, each of these improvements and enhancements is going to be playing a big part of the future of full self-driving and it's going to be a really, really big part of the ride hailing service as it would not make sense for an unsupervised version to display a message and hand all controls back to the driver when there is no driver in the front seat. So with all that said now, the ETA is expected to come out just before or right on Thanksgiving this year, but it could possibly roll out much sooner for the public releases. This is going to be packaging the auto wiper and the occlusion technology that we've just mentioned. So auto wipers overall is going to perform much better on the basic autopilot as well as enhanced autopilot for those of you living outside of Canada and the States. This overall is going to be a big improvement and a major experience difference for those that do get affected during the winter seasons when everything is shut down practically when the cameras are occluded. So yeah, right now the team is working endlessly and working extremely hard to meet the deadline as they did with the previous roadmap and matching out every single option on the list just on time before the deadline hits. All of this is going to be coming very soon, but at the very latest, November 28th, I will be keeping an eye out for all of the updates. Anything else that comes out, I will be updating you as quickly as possible. So make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe, that bell notification, and follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnny. Over there, you guys will get the latest updates and you guys can chat with me anytime 
and I will respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this should be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.